So in this section, we're going to be looking at solving exponential equations. So in this video, I want to take a look at solving 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now we've already put in a lot of the groundwork for this. We've been solving exponential equations like this as we've been sketching exponential curves and logarithmic curves. And we've also looked at how we go from exponential form to logarithmic form. We've done all that already. So this is now really bringing it all together and showing you how we can solve more complicated exponential equations and the techniques that we use. So when solving 2 to the x is equal to 5, this is in exponential form. So I can go to logarithmic form and write x is log base 2 of 5. And that's it. That is the solution to this equation. But behind the scenes, in the middle, is a step that, for this example, I would never bother writing down. Where actually, we are logging both sides with base 2. So what I mean by that is we are taking log base 2 of both sides of the equation. So log base 2 of 2 to the x is equal to log base 2 of 5. Now this right hand side is what we're familiar with, that's the answer. This is essentially that log law that we've been working with. Log base b of b to the x is equal to x. It's just in this case b is equal to 2. And so that must be equal to that. Now this method of logging both sides like this is a really useful technique because you don't actually have to take the logarithm of base 2 of both sides. You could have used another base logarithm. But more on that later, okay, when we come to look at more complicated examples where we're going to be taking the logarithm of both sides and working it through that way. So we're first of all going to focus on solving exponential equations, making sure we're happy going from exponential form to logarithmic form, and then we'll take a look at logging both sides and the types of problems that we're going to need that for.